Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for new love in the next three months. So we're gonna find out about new love. We're gonna find out what's going on with your romantic love life and also where would you meet this person, okay? Where you would likely meet this person. Um, so we're gonna find out here. I'm pretty, I have a pretty extensive spread. So let's take a look here. All right, so we're gonna be looking at this and I'll go over it. I got 10 positions on this spread. So, and if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so it's just Gemini have huge potential for new love coming up in the next few months. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's see the first card here. So in the current, it looks like you guys have a situation where there's some kind of self-sabotage or someone's like concerned that they won at what cost. Um, that's what's coming up here in the current. And the current is either something that already happened or is happening at this time. And let's see here. There's a decision that's about to be made here coming up in the current. Let's see what that decision is about. So it seems like someone's like standing by and like observing what you're doing here about the situation. And it's like, you're really curious of like, okay, which, which direction is Gemini gonna go into? Or you could be dealing with somebody who is kind of like thinking about the future and trying to make a decision. And they maybe they feel like they've messed up the connection with you somehow. Um, yeah, because we got the hangman coming out next, which shows like the stagnation or stuck in the middle of a situation. Let's see what that's about. So let's go to the influence you guys have, Gemini. Okay, so that's a very interesting influence. Let's throw it on us cards here. And let's look at the bottom of the deck as well. There could be a long-term commitment or marriage, or maybe somebody's coming off of that, or maybe somebody's interested in that, or there's this, this concern about family and a mother energy around this too as well. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Okay, so we got this energy and the influence of Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy and uh, some kind of good news, but there's a sense that someone feels that their hands are tied, like they're stuck in a situation. They keep going around in circles and they don't know if they should deal with the situation or walk away or they should avoid it altogether. So it's like a lot of questioning going on is the influence in your romantic love life. What happened in the past? Let's see. Okay. So in the past, looks like you get, you got some attention. Um, it seems like there was this travel situation going on and this waiting around to see what would happen with you and this person with the Seven of Pentacles energy. There was like an investment of time there. So, what's gonna happen is, so, so does, does Gemini have a huge potential for new love coming up in the next three months? Does Gemini have a huge potential for new love coming up in the next three months? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Um, I see that in the current there's this healing energy. And I see in the past there was this concern, wanting to gain knowledge about what was going on with this situation. And it seems like your influence seems to be possibly work, a boss here around this situation, wanting some kind of control or lack of control. Father energy for some of you guys, uncle energy, okay? Could be a part of the influence of your romantic love life. So uh, let's keep going. Does Gemini have huge potential for new love coming up in the next three months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see. So I see there's like some kind of major change here. Um, and this situation could uh, involve work for some of you guys when it comes to your romantic love life here. And I see that there is an influence of wanting attention or a victory about, it looks like you, you're getting attention here, Gemini. 
Yeah, it's like you're getting attention. Um, but then there is some type of good news or something about a younger Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy around this. Bottom of the deck here, there was an ending of a situation. We see something about court case or judgment. Someone's giving some good advice about this long distance situation. Okay, um, let's go to your obstacle or blockage here, Gemini. So I see that there is some type of truth being spoken about a legal decision. And I see there's something concerns about money or finance as part of the obstacle or blockage when it comes to your romantic love life here. And it looks like there is this concern about a visitor or good news and trying to stay hopeful. Star card energy. Um, there may be a lack of communication, okay? Possibly some of you guys are working a lot, okay? That Eight of Pentacles energy. Maybe getting your finances order. Or some of you guys are going to school with the Eight of Pentacles energy. So there's something about this situation that's causing you some kind of um, delay in your romantic love life when it comes to new love, okay? So it looks like you've built a pretty solid foundation and it could be somebody close to home here with the Four of Wands energy um, or something to do with this house or home. There's very strong chemistry and passion. And it looks like um, they do are, are interested um, and it's somebody you've known from before, okay? Um, that there could be some type of separation or isolation right now here or, or there could be something to do with a corporate building around this. So let's see, go so far. We see there's a change, a hopeful energy when it comes to this isolation or separation because of this work situation. Okay, so what's, what are you trying to get done here? Okay, so I see there's a want to hold on to somebody and to want to defend a position when it comes to your family members or friends when the timing is right. So some of you guys, there may be this situation where you know, there may be an influence of family or friends, or maybe you had that situation in the past and you want that person to actually defend you and what you're doing and how you're moving forward. Maybe you did things like maybe you had a business or you, you know, you felt like that person from before didn't really support what you were doing. Cause it's like, you want a person looks like that supports you because you feel like your hands are tied, like you felt like you were going around in circles and you want some kind of good outcome, you know? Uh, good luck here. Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen between now and the next three months, okay. So there's some decisions coming up for you guys. You're gonna be at a crossroads. You're gonna have to figure some things out here. You could either go this way or this way, okay? There is some energy that's coming in that feels very happy, okay, sun card energy, and some type of good communication coming in. I feel like you're gonna get swept away or swept up into the situation of happiness and, and, uh, and there's going to definitely be a sense of pleasure seeking around this and some good expectations, okay? Uh, possibly even two to three month expectations of success here. Uh, all right, so that's good. So you got some good energy. And obviously we see this attention here um, as your influence. So subconsciously, you may have a concern about people not telling you the truth from past energies, or maybe you guys are very private, like you like to keep things to yourself with the, the Seven of Swords energy. Um, maybe also you guys have a hard time opening up to people because of the fact that this heartache and this sadness and it's caused a lot of confusions in past relationships, or maybe you've dealt with people like that. I feel like some of you guys, uh, you definitely had the sense that there was the sense of uh, maybe people that you were dealing with were surprised that they had this confusion about you. And uh, maybe you kind of came off a little bit guarded, okay, because of the fact that you've dealt with a lot of heartache before. So this is some of the things you need to work on here, okay? Um, because obviously this is going to be an obstacle when it comes to, to new love. So this is, this is something you have to work on, like being open, okay? And uh, you know, here's the thing, we have to put ourselves in the way of love, and but we also have to understand even though we get hurt and we want to just kind of pull back, that in order to understand that we grow from those experiences and we let go of those things that happen to us, but we remember what happened to us, right? But we let go of the, of the traumas that happened to us, right? But we, we remember those things, like as far as like um, the wisdom from it. So you gain the wisdom of the past heartaches, 
but you don't need to hold on to the hurt and pain of that, right? So that's, that's a part of you that needs to be healed here. Um, because there is a, like a closed off energy because of the state of confusion that you went through. So being a little bit more open and healing that heartache here would be a good thing moving forward with new love, okay? All right, so, so where could you potentially meet this person? Let's see. So it looks like uh, there could be the sense of uh, another person around this, okay? And somewhere there could be a lot of like quick moving energy with the Knight of Wands, okay? Um, also, I get the sense of dealing with responsibilities around this situation. Um, so like you're dealing with responsibilities, there's a lot of moving around. Um, also, Knight of Wands can be a vehicle, a car, okay, traveling somewhere. It looks like you see the Knight of Wands is kind of like going somewhere. And then there's another person around this, it looks like. Um, this could be involving another person when you meet this person, this new love, okay? Uh, this could be dealing with finance. Remember, this card can be a brother. This can be a friend. This can be um, a son for some of you guys, you know, um, if you guys have children, okay? Um, something about this involves a meeting, okay, or um, an invitation somewhere. So it's like you have to deal with some responsibilities here and you have to go somewhere quickly, okay? And it looks like you have to meet up with another person here. Um, and it could be because of this person that you have this invitation or this meeting. Also it could be an interview for some of you guys, okay? So uh, let's see what's going on here. Yes, you have potential for new love. Looks to be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, okay? Uh, definitely coming out strongly here and very attractive energy. Um, and it shows definitely a new person, child card energy or some of you guys, I'm just going to be real honest. It could be surrounding something to do with a school or something here, okay? Uh, or um, with your child. Some of you guys may have a child. I know that's a very specific message, okay? So, uh, so if that's not the case, it could just be talking about, um, you know, something about this energy could speak of, you know, um, advice. Queen of, Sword, uh, Queen of Cups energy and a, a realization that there was like you and this person like are on the same kind of emotional situation because we got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups which are paired and then we got the the Page of Cups okay so it's going to be some good news and love there's going to be a realization and it's going to be an attractive energy okay they may be younger than you okay the pages the the child card could be coming out because they could be younger than you okay or it could be the sense of um, maybe i'm being naive about this so let's read it all together so we see there's a change big changes here hopeful energy about this isolation and separation we see work around this and big luck two to three month expectation restrictions and boundaries but then a victory because of whoever this is this could be something around money, finance. It could be a brother. It could be a son. It could be a friend and uh, some kind of fresh start, new opportunity there, child card energy. Okay, so let's, um, let's get you some advice, Gemini. Can I have some advice for my Geminis when it comes to new love? What should they do? What action should they take at this time for new love? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, C. But obviously, you see, there's, there's going to be major changes coming up that are going to be helpful. So, so focus on your thoughts and plans. Yep, exactly. It is saying you're going to have a major breakthrough here. Okay, but it is saying that you need to clear out the, you know, the clutter, you know, the heal, and. In this situation, you may have to look beyond immediate appearances because some of you guys, this may be a younger energy to you or maybe some of that you may be not expecting. So don't feel bad about this situation, surrender, okay? And you have a lot of life experience, Gemini, and you've, you've, uh, you've learned a lot from it. And so you know what's best for you when it comes to new love, okay? So adapt to the situation and focus on healing and forgiveness at this time. Listen to the spiritual signs around this because there's a sense of, of the guarded energy here and you need to make a definitive decision and know you have options and choices that you have the freedom to make a choice. Okay. All right, my beautiful Geminis. I love you guys so much. If you guys look at this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days and I will see you guys soon.